and you're listening at 1560 WATJ, and today we have the Poker Showcase, and Al Markic is your host, and Lou Sater is my guest, and Lou, how are you? Good, Al, how you doing? Well, bonjour. <laughs> yeah, bonjour. It's got to be. I finally gotta... made it out here. After yeah, all this, after uh, all this time. monkey business, I'm huh? I'm always busy hunting, you know how that yeah. is, and playing golf. <laughs> yeah, you're hard to, hard to get all of. Well, you know. Yeah. Good to be here, though, Al. Well, I'm glad you came. You're looking good, Al. Thank you. You're not looking so bad yourself. Well, for an old yeah. man, you know. Yeah, now we can stop this nonsense, huh? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, look, you were born in Cleveland, were No, you? I was born in Pennsylvania, in Slovan. Slovan, PA, which is right next to uh, Burgerstown. Oh, is that right? And I'm sure we both played there at one time or another. Yeah, year. well, uh, what Stan Blount came from Burgerstown. Uh, yeah. Did you know him? Yeah, sure, I understand, yeah. yeah. But this just a little coal mining town. Yeah. Born there in 1921. What's the name of it? Uh, Slovan, S-L-O-V-A-N. Slovan. Yeah, in 1921. And yeah. It was only there about about three years, four years. Then my dad moved to, uh, to uh, Cleveland, Cleveland, you know. Yeah, I mean, that was good, really. You then know. you were down on St. Clair? Uh, I'm still there. Same place. I'm still there. We, we call it Kudiavas. Kudiavas, you know, yeah. St. Clair is good Okay, enough. same place, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How'd you get into music? Well, my dad was a musician, you know, and, and a hunter, uh, and I guess I just fell into it, you know. It all rubs off, yeah, huh? Yeah, and I uh, started out, I guess, when I was about seven, eight years old already, you know, and uh, uh, we got to Cleveland here. My dad had a band, and uh, I started playing banjo when I was very young, eight years old, nine, ten, I guess, and um, playing this band, he had a lot of old, old guys in, you know, from... The old gold but bled. I don't know if you remember I that. I remember that, that yeah. Play Muska. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I played banjo when I was in the elementary school with a lot of the friends of mine that uh, we grew up with. And then, of course, I wanted to play sax so I can get in a big band, you know, like a school band. Yeah. Went to Wilson, I played in the band there. Went to East High, played in the band there, an orchestra and marching band. And uh, all the friends that I had uh, were musicians, good guys, you know, like Stan Slaco and yeah. Eddie Slaco, Tom Obach, Willie Obach. Al Markic. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, of course, I went in the service then. It was in the Air Force band for about four years and got out. And then I went with Ray Anthony. Cause I, mostly I was playing big band stuff. Yeah. You know? How long were you with Anthony? About uh, about uh, five years. Almost five years. I and got the, Sla the Slakos yeah. were with you? Yeah. Well, yes. Yeah. The Slakos and the Old Blocks, they were all with uh, Ray's band in the Navy, you know. Oh, really? I was in the Air Force band, so... When uh, most of the guys got out in '46 after the war, and that's when the band Ray started the band again, civilian band, and I fortunate enough to get in the band. But well, I knew a couple of the fellas. Yeah, we were four Slovenians in the band. <laughs> you gotta always have out Slovenians 20, there. We had 21 in the band, but yeah. uh, four Slovenians. You know, Slakos and the Oblak and myself had a great time. Yeah. Seems when you get 21 in a band, it's kind of hard to get work, isn't it? Well, that's why you don't see the big bands anymore. You know? Right. True. Yeah. 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 It was it was fun, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Then you joined the uh, Pecan, didn't you? Uh, well, what happened there? Uh, I came home and um, Eddie Platt left the band because I knew Tree Bar and Pecan, you yeah. know, and the guys in the band. And uh, Platt left the band to uh, to f organize his own band, so I just kind of filled in. I was playing with Sammy Watkins when I got home from the off the road, you know, and uh, I was with the band for about nine or ten months I was just filling in and of course I went back with Sammy Watkins at the Statler Hotel that was until uh, until the 60th then I rejoined the band I think that's when you joined the band in 43 yeah. 53 rather no uh, was, you, I think it was 50, maybe it was 52 52 or you and yeah. Mark Yama right yeah right and I I went back with Ray uh, with uh, Sammy Watkins because well we it was an everyday job you know six nights a week did good shows floor shows met a lot of nice people played a lot of golf <laughs> you didn't have to work you know uh -huh. yeah and then um, of course with TV coming in all the vaudeville shows and everything went out and uh, hotel bands were out so it just happened that uh, Pecan was looking for another sax player like this 1960 I believe it was. That's when I joined the band again. I was with them for about nine years, all told. Mm -hmm. yeah. Had a lot of fun with all the all the guys. Were great, you know. Right. And and I did a lot of recording with you. You know. Yeah. <laughs> right. All right. I'll tell you what. We've got one up here that's on deck with uh, Pecan that you're on. Okay. Number two there. Uh. Well, number two. Oh, Johnny Johnny. Yeah. Oh, all right, that's a good one. Yeah. You like that? Well, yeah, kind of. Yeah. Okay. We'll good. play it. All right. Good.
Okay, and we're back here with the Polka Showcase with Al Markick and Lou Sater, who was with the Pecan Band. What years were you with uh, John? Do you remember? Yeah, well, I, I took Eddie's place in, uh, I think it was 51, and then I went back to with Sam, and then I joined him in 1960. Uh -huh. Until 69, end of 69. Well, you must have left late 51 because I got in there, I think, at 52. Well, you just came in when I was leaving. Leaving, yeah, yeah right. Yeah, That's yeah. not the reason I left, though, because you came oh, in. Oh, I figured maybe it was. <laughs> you and Mark, Mark, yeah, we came in together, you know. Right. It just happened that I, you know, yeah. I, I was with Sam before, you know, yeah. Statler, which was a great job. And, uh, <clears throat> and, uh, Yancha rejoined the band there, or joined the yeah. band again. Yes, right. it was really right. good, yeah. Yeah, that was that was great oh, times. Yeah. A lot of fun. Great times. The band yeah. was great. You couldn't beat Johnny Pecan and all the guys in the band were just just great. That's right. Yeah, very good. Okay, uh, you played with Ray Anthony. You played with Pecan. You played with your father's band. Anybody else? Well, yeah, I was in the Watkins. You said. Uh, well, that was uh, when I got off the road from Ray's band. Yeah. But uh, during high school, uh, I uh, I joined the union. We had to join the union in 1940. You know, to play all these. Uh, Is that good right? Job, At that like time? The, oh yeah, I joined uh, 1940. Patrilla Patrilla wanted his money, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was Lee Rep at that time, you know. Yeah, well, yeah, in Cleveland. You yeah. remember him. Oh, well, definitely. Yeah. And uh, then before I went in the service, in, in 42, I joined uh, Russ Carlisle, if you oh, remember yeah, him. Yeah, I've heard of him. That was just before, uh, you know, during the uh, war years, you know, yeah. 42. And I, le I had to go into the service, and I got in, fortunately, I got in the Air Force Band, which was in uh, October of 42. And I got out of service in 46, and they had a big band. That's all we did was played shows and U.S. things. And yeah. It was real good. Did you go overseas, too? Uh, well, we went, yeah, we more or less like went on a tour, stopped in Hawaii. <laughs> <laughs> and well, uh, the good spots. we ended up on Tinian, you know. Yeah. Yeah, that's where the uh, big atomic bomb well, plane yeah. uh, took off, yeah. you know, and... Uh, Got off in 46, and of course I knew all these guys that I played with uh, during the war and before the war, and I got into with, uh, with Ray Anthony because of Slaco, you know. And I also worked at Palace Theater for uh, at, in, in the band there for about uh, 13 weeks, and then the, the business went kahoot, you know, with the uh, uh, TV coming in yeah. and all that. Yeah, right. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'll tell yeah. you what, we've got another one here uh, we can do. Uh, you could announce it. Maybe you want to send Which it out to somebody play? else. Number three. Number three? Yeah. Is that Kathy Waltz or French? I guess it is. Yeah. It's number three. Well, yeah. It's Kathy's Waltz. Kathy's yeah. Waltz. Okay, I got it. You yeah. Like, yeah, all right. That's, Kathy's Waltz, that's great. Yeah. You want to send it out to anybody? Well, to Kathy. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay. To my friend Kathy. Nice waltz, Louis. Yeah, that was nice, yeah. Yeah, you enjoyed that, I, huh? I haven't heard that one in a long time. Yeah, yeah. these are all on, uh, I think this album is called uh, uh, The Tribute to Johnny Pecan. Right, right. Yeah, it's an album. I think that I think was that was the tribute when he was uh, hanging it up, was yes, it? Yeah. Yes, yes. The great picture of, of him on the front, front cover, cover, you know? Right. Oh, great. I almost forgot about that. Yeah. But the, uh, it's um, uh, by Delta, you know, because these were made by... Uh, Dana recordings, they were all you know, Dana's. and then I, I, well think he I, went, know. I think he went bankrupt, you know, I think that's what it was, and then uh, Delta bought bought him out and uh, made these albums up, you know, so... Uh, well, we get a chance one of these days, I'll tell you the story on that. Oh, well, yeah, I don't know, that technical stuff, you know. Oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but uh, that's what it was, and we also, I, we also recorded, at first, I think it was Capitol, 
when I first joined the band, you were on those. those I know, were, you were on all those, the records. Those were 78s. Yeah. Al was on all the records that I'm on. Yeah, <laughs> those were 78s. Yeah, that's right. You're right. Yeah. Right. I yeah. don't have those. We even had Doc Lauschi on that. Right. So right. I, and a couple, couple of, of uh, Nettie, Johnny's yeah, sister. Nettie, right. And uh, I think we recorded with the group, the Gosper Girls, or what was the name? Yeah, Gasper. Gasper, yeah. Two quarter, three quarter. Oh, yes, I think they're on. That's I remember on, that's the That's on the other girls. turntable over here. Oh, okay. You got more to play, too? Oh, oh we my got God. Lots. I thought I go home. Well, we got we got enough, we got enough here till six o'clock. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, we got. Well, the plenty. next one is I think it'll be kind of fun uh, to talk about because um, I think it's called Hillbilly Polka. Is that Hillbilly coming up now? I, I think so. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and, yeah. Uh, I, oh. uh, that's kind of a funny story, Al. Right? Yeah. Why don't you tell us? Well, uh, that was a tune that uh, John and Trebar were going to uh, record a button box uh, tune. And, uh, of course, there was no sax part on there. So I put the sax down, and John looked up. He said, hey. Yeah, he said, hey, Cedar, you're not just going to stand there, do nothing. He says, you play the banjo and let Al play the guitar. Because I did, he knew that I played banjo. Oh, I hadn't touched it for 20 years, you know. <laughs> so the way it turned out, I played the banjo, and Al played the guitar. We always laugh about that. And I hadn't touched the banjo, really, for 20 years, if not more. And it... I didn't do too good of a job on it, but well, it was kind of You didn't do bad fun. either. I'll no, tell it wasn't good. But it wasn't Sounds good. But I, I get a kick out of it, yeah. so maybe uh, some of the uh, listeners will kind of enjoy it. Maybe they enjoy the story. Well, I'll anyway. tell you what. Let's let's send this out to all the banjo players. Okay, good. <laughs> My banjo teacher. Your banjo yeah, teacher? Uh, was Johnny Schreiner. Oh, he was your yeah, banjo teacher? Uh, yeah, yeah he was uh, mine, Dave too. Schreiner, right, I, that's right, you did tell me sure. that. Sure. Uh, Dave Schreiner's uh, father. His father, yeah. sure. I used to go there with funny books. Yeah. That's why I never learned how to read music. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I didn't even, I wasn't able to even read the uh, funny books. <laughs> well, anyway, we'll, uh, we'll maybe spin that. That's All just, right. That would be like let's a do the, thing to Let's do to. the Hilly Billy Polka. <laughs> Hey, Louis, uh, you did a good job on that. <laughs> the only thing I got to ask you is I noticed when you were playing there, you dropped the pick. <laughs> I did, yes. <laughs> what, what you do for, for playing it that you missed a couple of measures, huh? Well, yeah, somewhere along the line. Someplace yeah. along the line, yeah. Yeah, that was, I, I think I played about ten measures of the, the song, you know, and all the guys started laughing, you know. I, yeah. Then went through one time and that was it, you know. Yeah. Too bad. Kind through. of funny story. We did, we did the job. Funny story, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and funny banjo playing, too. No, you yeah. did a good job. It sounded good, I tell you. Yeah, Heck yeah. <laughs> you covered me very well. Oh, no, you can't yeah. beat you out. Well. A little bit different style yeah, there, that's Mr. all. Ban Mr. Banjo, you are, yes. Yeah. With banjo player. 
Yeah, I had my days. Yeah. Yep. Okay, you were with Ray Anthony, and we've got one here by Ray Anthony's band oh, now. Really? Yeah. And uh, do you know what it is? I'll never smile again. I think I'm on that one. Yeah. You're on that one. Yeah. Okay. You got a horn. Right. You got a horn solo on that one. No, I didn't do any solo work. No. I had some flute stuff that I did in the band, you know, oh, yeah? background. But yeah. Uh, no. Yeah. It was mostly all section work. Yeah. We had a good tenor player, you know, yeah. a good player, a jazz good player? man. You know, I was just in the section. Uh, so. You were you were a good yeah. player too, yeah. by golly. Yeah. Got it okay, queued well, up, John. That, yeah? yeah. All right, let's hear it. Ray Anthony. Mm -hmm. That so, sounds good. That's nice. Like that. Nice music. That yeah. yeah. Nice music. Yeah. Ray. Uh, Ray played trumpet. Some of the radio listeners probably didn't don't know that he was a trumpet. Played real great. Uh, he joined. Uh, he left. Uh, he was from Cleveland, and he left uh, school, and he joined Glenn Miller back Is in 1941. Right? He made all these orchestra wife movies, yeah, and played great trumpet player, you know. And uh, then uh, then he went in the Navy in 42, like most of the guys did, and uh, had the Navy band there. But uh, I'd like to mention the fact, if I could, we had four Slovenians in the band. Oh, absolutely, you, know? you better. Uh, we had 21 in the band, you know, five saxes, four yeah. trumpets, French horn, four trombone, and uh, Stan Slaco. Yeah. Uh, who just passed away recently, yeah. a very good friend of mine, dear right. friend of mine. He's a good and, friend of mine also. Oh, sure, everybody, yeah. everybody loves yeah. Stan. In fact, we even roomed together with, with uh, Anthony's band, and his brother, uh, Eddie, he was in the band. And uh, some of the folks don't know uh, Tom Oldblock, he's living in Arizona now, but he was a great musician, and his brother, he was in the band. And of course, myself, we were four Slovenians, you know, and for some reason, another Ray... Uh, no wonder the band sounds so good. <laughs> Ray liked, for some reason, he liked the Slovenian guys all the time. For some, he was Italian, you know. Yeah. And uh, his real name was Antoniti. Uh huh. So naturally, he changed it to Anthony. Yeah. A great trouble. We, we, we had a lot of fun. And well, just, I'm, I'm sure they know. were all darn good musicians yeah, because well, yeah. it, it sounds me, like it. Yeah. I don't know how I was in the band. Well, you, were, except, anyway. you were exceptional. What <laughs> the heck are you talking right. about? Well, anyway, it was a great... I wanted to mention that little uh, item yeah. right there, sure. All right. Okay, I'll tell you what. We got to make some money, so we'll be back here at 1560 WATJ with these important messages. Now back to Al Markick with America's favorite polkas and waltzes. And we're back with the Polka Showcase here on 1560, and our guest is Lou Sater. Mm -hmm. And we've been playing some of the, some of the tunes here that... Uh, he has recorded with the Pecan Band, and uh, we have, uh, we just played one, I guess, by Ray Anthony. Yeah. And uh, we've got another one that is more or less his favorite that we're going to play in a little bit. Speak up, Louie. All right, yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I, just, I like your theme song you're playing now. That's great. Is that your band? What theme song? Did, did you just finish playing? Oh, well, I got a lot of theme songs. Uh, yeah, well, the one that you play on now on the radio. Uh, you know. No, that, was commercial, yeah, that was a that commercial. That was a commercial. Yeah. Oh, no wonder yeah. song. Was a little plug for you guys. Oh, for sure. <laughs> I'll pay you after a while. Uh, yeah, here's another tune, uh, Lover's Melody. Yeah. And uh, this is on a different album. It's called uh, Jukebox Favorites. And I think I, we have four albums here that I'm on, right? Well, there's... Yeah. There's, well, there's, well, anyway, this is... There's two. seven albums altogether. Well, I'm only on four. Oh, are you well, only anyway, on four? Well, anyway, this is... Uh, uh, on jukebox uh, favorites, uh, no, yeah, jukebox favorites, and it's called a lover's melody. It's kind of a nice song. It's a very nice yeah, song. Waltz, right? Waltzik. All Waltz right, we'll play the Waltzik. Waltzik. <laughs>
that. I guess that was the Gaspar six or sisters, huh? Yeah, that, they sounded good. I yeah, very good. Them. Yeah, they sound better every time I listen to yeah. them. Yeah, well, especially I haven't heard them from a long time, you know. Right, it's been a They're long very time. Very seldom play any of these uh, tapes or you know. Normal. The next one I think is called Variety Waltz. Kind of a nice melody on that. That's another one that I can't remember. Too I don't even now. recall well, that either. No. We hear it, you know. Well, uh, yeah. But Variety kind of Waltz, huh? I don't recall that one. Yeah. Can't remember that one. Yeah. Well, maybe, Al, they, maybe they changed the name on us, Lou. You you must have recorded already uh, about a thousand tunes, if not more, not with all quite. different bands. Not quite. Huh? <laughs> not oh, quite. All the bands for all these not years. Not quite. No. Wow. You did a lot of recording, Al. Good band you play. You're right. Yeah. Well, the next one will be Variety Waltz. Okay. We'll play the thing. Right. 